All right, it looks like I'm live right now. Please let me know if everything is working correctly. And also I put up some music in the background. Uh, let me know if, my v if you can hear my voice and how is the music? Is it overwhelming or is it nice and quiet in the background? Otherwise I can adjust in this first few minutes. So how is everyone doing? Please let me know so we can start the live stream. All right. Yes, it's perfect. Voices are good. Hello from the Philippines. Hello. I can hear you clearly. That is nice. People are grinding already. Yes, of course. <laughs> and how is the music? I've put up some uh, lo-fi in the, in the background. Is that okay? Hi, oh, I see some familiar names. Thank you again for joining me in my life. Hello from India. Hello, hello. From Bangladesh. It's nice and international. So over there, um, so Philippines, India, is it, um, is it early in the morning right now? Barcelona, ah, same time zone. That's nice. So it's evening for you. Nepal. Wow, it's really cool. Argentina. It's in the middle of the night, I think, for you. Okay. So um, today I want to cover, yeah, the the big news, the new airdrop. Um, I will uh, quickly go over the dashboard to explain all the badges and stuff, uh, how to get uh, lots of points and, um, yeah, maybe direct you in... Um, to some of my helpful videos. Um, okay, let's see. So you can go to the dashboard by clicking in the top right on this purple bot uh, button. Um, later on, I of course have uh, a lot of time to answer all your questions. So let's see. So if you click on this purple button in the top right, you will go to the dashboard. I have opened it up uh, in a separate uh, separate tab. And in the, on the left side, you have a menu and you get go to uh, contests. Um, later, on, uh, later in this video, I can show you uh, the season one, but right now we are in season two. And if you click on season two, you can see a new dashboard with lots of badges you can earn. They look much better than they did in season one. So that's really cool. And yeah, this is uh, this is your main screen you want to um, look uh, on in the next uh, few uh, in the next two weeks. So this season two, it's, it's only two weeks. Um, yeah, so let's see um, if we uh, can make it. Um, so yeah, yeah, you can see my rank. Uh, it's it's pretty good, I would say. I'm really, really happy with my rank. Um, there are some improvements. Um, oh, okay. So I, I, I liked the tweet just um, yeah maybe one hour ago. So now I got the points. Okay. But yeah, let's see what else I, I can improve and maybe uh, you as well. Um, so let me know uh, what what is your rank right now? Let me know in the chat because yeah, I am rank 15. <laughs> that's yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm I'm really 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 happy with it. No rank yet. Okay, so let's let's see if we can change if we can change that with this uh, live stream. Are you happy? Mm, yes, yes, I am happy. Oh, 319, 500, somewhere in the 5,000. Okay. Um, 4k so well uh, I will cover uh, some other uh, news but um, as long as you are you are in the top 7,000 you are fine 
you will get uh, uh, some airdrop. Of course, um, uh, players on the, in the top ranks will earn more pixel tokens than uh, player number 7000. But hey, uh, it's free. And yeah, if you like playing the game, then yeah, enjoy it. What is the airdrop? Uh, the air, um, do you mean, um, what do we get? Because we get the pixel token. It is a new token in game. Um, so um, the, the, the 7,000 players, uh, the top 7,000 players will get a pixel token. Uh, um, yeah, it's an in game uh, token and you can do a lot of fun stuff with it in the game. I will cover this um, later on in the video. But first I want to um, yeah, help you all uh, understand this dashboard. Um, who here is totally new? So who opened the Pixels game today for the first time? Um, yes, you can sell it. It is a it is it, it is it is a crypto token. Uh, so yes, it is worth um, real money on different markets. Two months old. Someone is new. Satisfied, Nahid. Welcome and thank you for joining me and thank you for finding me. Um, yes, you will stay here. Okay, yes. If there's money to be made, please watch. Uh, you can watch this video because yeah, you can earn some really nice uh, pixels airdrop. So if you're new and you opened the game, then you uh, started with the Barney's quest. I'm not sure what, what the exact name is. You can go here and ah, yeah, it's the Barney's farm tutorial. And if you finish that, you have to grow some pawberries, water it and then do stuff like that. It's yeah, it takes a few minutes only. Then you will earn this badge. And this badge gives you 250 uh, points. And with those points, you can gain, um, yeah, you can gain a higher rank. Um, later on, if you start playing the game, you will um, come across the Sunshine and Rainbows quest. And completing this quest will give you 250 points. So, um, I see someone mentioning, uh, I'm with you from day one of your YouTube video. Well, that's that's awesome. It's, it's almost one and a half year, maybe one year and four months. So, thank you for sticking with me. Um, and then you might have seen these videos. So I, I, I will show you these videos because, um, where is it? Oh, a little bit down. Um, it's also in the links below. So if you uh, scroll down below the video, you can see the, um, uh, these videos. So for the first batch, you can watch this video, how to start the Pixels online game. It's a walkthrough of all the starter quests. And also, um, yeah, by, by Watching this video, doing all the tasks, doing all the quests, you can earn this first batch and earn the first 250 points. For this batch, there is a separate video, and that video is called the Rainbow Quest and the Flower Powder. It is this video. You can see a windmill on the left. You can see the Rainbow Crop and the Flower. Maybe I can uh, zoom in a little bit. So this video will explain you how to get this second batch. The barbecue uh, fiend, barbecue find fiend, I'm not sure how to pron pronounce it, is a little bit more difficult. You have to be a bit more uh, advanced. Um, but yeah, you can um, you can easily earn it in. Can, can you easily earn it in two weeks? Well, you have to grind a lot and maybe. Maybe you need some help from other players or um, yeah, maybe you, you want to buy some berry off the Ronin uh, market. Because otherwise, it's pretty difficult if you're totally new. It's a, di a, a difficult quest. Um, someone asked me how to check my rank. So if you're in the game, you can click. Ooh, let's see. Let's close this. You can click on this purple button in the top right. Then you go to the dashboard. Click on contests in the left, the left tab here, the contests, and there you see your rank. 
Um, I have made a video as well for this this uh, quest. It is called where is it? But again, I have a link below. Um, so yeah, you can you can you can uh, scroll down, uh, read the description, and you can see this quest. It's the Barney's Barbecue Grill quest. Um, yes, and that will earn you 250 points. This quest is also not easy, but I, I'm sure you can do this one in two weeks. Com uh, the Karen's Latte quest. So again, scroll down and uh, search for Karen's or cool. And behind uh, that, there's a link to this video. And it is a relatively new quest. It's this one, you have to find Karen and you have to bring her a, um, a latte. So it's a drink you can make in the, uh, in the game. Okay, um, and then you have Jiho's friends, uh, friend. Yeah, it is, um, you, you have to catch the, the, the fishing net, the Jiho's net. With that, you can fish in the game. Right now, you can uh, only catch one fish, but that will change in the future. Uh, this one fish is just a teaser that there will be fishing in, in chapter 2. Um, but yeah, to do, the, uh, to do this quest, um, again, in the description you will find the video. It is this one. You can catch this, uh, this fish. And uh, yeah, Geos is of course the founder of uh, Oxy, Oxy Infinity. Really cool to have him as a uh, NPC in the game. Um, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five badges you can earn by playing the game. Um, someone asked which one is the, mo uh, the the easiest one. So the first one. So if you open up the game, you uh, you have earned the badge in the first few minutes because it's the the first tutorial you have to do. Uh, you have to plant some parberries. Um, then the rainbow and sunshine quest. And I would say this one and also this one is doable in two weeks. Of course, you have to put in some effort. Eh? It's, not, it's not finished in five, uh, five minutes. No, you have to play uh, these two weeks. But I would say you can earn these two um, relatively easy in these two weeks. But this one is a bit harder. And for this, you, it, it, um, you might want to buy some berries. So it's... I think it's impossible to do it free to play, but you can, uh, yeah, do some uh, pay to win for this one. Um, other easy things are uh, the Twitter connection. I mean, you get 750 points. That's three times as much as the, the hardest quest right now. So yeah, I would say connect your Twitter accounts uh, also in this dashboard. Mm, I can show you right now. So if you go to the social tab, you can you can find some buttons. You can see I have connected my Discord, I have connected my Twitter, and I can also do my phone and email. Um, I haven't done it so far, but you can. Um, but yeah, go to uh, social, and then you can connect your uh, both of your um, socials. So let's see. Um, and if you are on Twitter, you want to hit this, uh, you want to like this tweet, um, like our tweet. Okay. So there is no link here. It would be really easy. So I'm going to suggest this to the team to put a link right here. So it's really easy for you to like this tweet and earn thousand points and thousand points is a lot. I mean, you have to do one, two, three, four quests in the game to get, to get these thousand points. Um, and this is just one like on Twitter. So yeah, this, that, that's really, really easy. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Mm, can I do uh, Fygiri in one day? No, yeah, maybe if you're, um, maybe if you're, um, if you're paying, if you're paying Barry, then you, you could do it. Otherwise, no, not in one day. Oh, 
my alarm is going off and I will explain you why I put a alarm on my phone even during this live uh, video. Um, I will uh, get to that in a few minutes. Um, yes, the lower the rank, the higher the ad drop. So yeah, if you're number one, you get the most amount of pixel token. If you're in player number 7000, you get less. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so the next batch, you have to reach level 8 in farming. You get 300 uh, points for that. Um, that's also relatively, that's, that's doable. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's easy because you want to, uh, it, it is a farming game, so it's logical to, um, to level up uh, the farming skill. So if you go to the top left, you see this yellow star. If you click on this button, your skill uh, tab will um, uh, appear. And you can see the, the first uh, skill. I can zoom in a little bit. I always play uh, zoomed out. So I have a, a bigger overview of the of the game. But when I zoom in a little bit, you can easily see this is a potberry. And this is your, uh, your level. So you have to get this to level eight. And then you will earn this, this um, heroic farmer badge, which gives you 300 points um, this other batch is for the mining skill later I will do a walkthrough to the, through the game and I will show you how to mine how to farm and all, all of that um, so yeah look at this you can see the, this pickaxe um, this is your mining skill and you have to be level 8 all right Let's see. Um, B I B B I B. <laughs> uh, reach level eight in beekeeping. Mm, this is this one is. Um, yeah, okay, you can do it. But again, if you're really if you're if you started today, it it's gonna cost you a lot of berry because you need to buy some um, resources to start mining. You need to buy a bee to start the beekeeping. And those bees are really expensive. Um, so again, free to play, it's really, really hard. Um, but pay to win, yeah, the name uh, says it all. It's pay to win, yeah. Um, egg collector. So luckily the, 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 the chickens you can buy are uh, cheaper, cheaper than the bees. And the good thing about um, uh, chickens is when you place a chicken on a coop I can show you I can show you uh, when you place a chicken on a coop you get 50 experience points so this is what a coop looks like right now I'm standing next to it you see two chickens you can place two chickens on a coop and it has two eggs right here so I can click on it and I collect two eggs um, but placing a chicken on a coop will instantly give you uh, 50 experience. So placing two chickens uh, will give you 100 experience points and that will get you to level um, level one already. Just by placing two chickens on it. And each egg will also give you new experience points. Um, so yeah, again, if you put in some money, you can buy chickens a lot and then you can Go, uh, you can get to level 8 pretty quickly if you buy a lot of chickens and place them on coops. Um, lumberjack. You have to reach level 8 in forestry. Um, is that one easy to, <laughs> easy to do? Let's see. Um, well, it's not hard, but it will cost you a lot of energy. Again, everything is... is, is uh, you need a lot of energy for it. But by cutting... Uh, trees like this you gain levels and you need to be level 8 so like this yeah um, so collect this wood and uh, other stuff you find if you level up and uh, yeah you can get to level 8 um, so yeah that's th those are the badges uh, you get for leveling up your skills in the game at this moment 
I have to uh, mention, it's really important that there will be more quests or more badges in the next two weeks. Not sure when, maybe after the weekend or maybe ne next week, but y there will be more badges you can earn. So if you think, oh, those are really hard, I cannot do it, mm, just, just continue to play and maybe uh, there will be uh, uh, easier badges available. Okay, uh, so now, come the f uh, now comes the fun part, because if you like to, to grind these type of games, um, then um, I've got good news for you. Oh, let's see. Um, so let's read what it says. Um, be in the top 10,000 uh, of all players during this uh, play to airdrop. Eh? So th this is a leaderboard only for this play to airdrop season two. Uh, and you have to farm the most uh, purple Grumpkins. You must stay on the leaderboard to keep this patch. Okay, so this is also, they updated the description. You must stay on the leaderboard to keep this patch. So you cannot uh, rank a uh, thousand and then stop playing because if you lose, I'm talking about this one, if you are in a top thousand and at the end of the two weeks you, um, you end up rank 1500 or something, then you do not earn this patch because you are not in the top thousand. So by the end of the two weeks, you have to be in the top thousand for this batch, which gives you 2,500 points, or even in the top 100, which gives you 10,000 points, 10,000. That's, that's a lot. Um, orange, uh, no, not orange. Uh, so there are two types of Grumpkins. Uh, you have orange Grumpkins and the purple ones. Here you can see I started grinding already. You can see the purple uh, Grumpkins right here. You need to uh, have those. You need to be farming level eight to be able to buy the seeds and then you can start planting them. Um, yeah, so th that's the, the, the purple Grumpkins. I will, I will explain you a little bit more about the purple Grumpkins when I finished all the other badges. Um, sell some sorbet badge. Um, so there are three tiers. You have got bronze, you got silver, and the gold ones. So bronze is um, when you are in the top ten thousand uh, of the most seltzum eggs collected. And as a seltzum egg is this egg. Uh, do I have one? Yeah, seltzum egg is this red egg. You get a seltzum egg. Uh, as a random drop from this coop. So, um, yeah, just level up your your um, this skill. Eh, the, the, the what is it called? The aviculture skill. This one with the the chicken. If you are level two, sometimes uh, you will get a seltzum egg. So it is not guaranteed, but. Sometimes you get a sell some egg, and when you do, then it will count towards this um, yeah, leaderboard of the sell some eggs. The second tier, the silver tier, I would say, um, is if you are in the top thousand of all the players of the most sell some eggs collected. And you have a gold, uh, where is it? Here, the golden, the sell some sorbet ex extremist. If you are a top 100 player, and that's a thousand, the ten thousand, ten thousand uh, points. That's that's a lot. Um, salt madness. So um, again, you have these tiers. Eh? So bronze. So we'll give you 400 points if you are in the top 10,000. Uh, let's see, silver. If you're in the top thousand, you get way more points. And the the main prize right here is if you're in the top 100, you get 10,000 points. So what about what about salt? Um, for salt, you need to be uh, mining level five. Again, look at this pickaxe right here. And if it's level five, then you need to. I will wait until I can show you. Yes. You need to go to a farmland with a blue, uh, with blue grass. So here you can clearly see this has a blue background. 
if you saw my, uh, my uh, farm before, it was green. That is a land type farm. And this one is a water type farm. So you get salt from a mine uh, on a land type. And again, you have to be level uh, five. So I get ironite as always and no, I don't get salt. It's also a random drop. It's not guaranteed, but you might find some salt in here. So again, find a mine. Uh, so let me see. I go to uh, another land I own. And here you can see I've got four salt mines. That's because they are on the blue grass. And when I collect my resources here, you can see I get three ironite for each um, mine. Hey, look at this. I also get two salt blocks. So now I gain more points on this leaderboard for the salt blocks. And hopefully I will end up in the top 100. But again, so, so there are a few things. You, you need to uh, be level five, mining level five. Pickaxe right here, level five and you need to mine them on a water type farm. All right. Um, again, um, bronze, silver and gold for the most points. Uh, wax. For wax, you need to go. Uh, wait, let me collect these eggs. Maybe I can, I've got two eggs and no seltzer egg. Okay. Um, I will go back to my main lens. Here you see a, a beehive. You can play. You can buy um, queen bees. This is a bee, and you can place it on the beehive, and then you you can start collecting uh, honey. And if you are beekeeping level two, then you can uh, start to collect some wax. Uh, where is the bee? Um, where is the bee? Oh here. So. If this is level two, then you can uh, expect some wax from these uh, beehives. And the more wax you have, the higher uh, ranking you you have, and you have you will get more uh, more points, of course. Yeah. So I'm in a, clearly in the top thousand. I'm not sure where, and I've earned twenty five hundred points. But if I lose my position, so if I end up uh, 1100 or maybe 2000, then I will lose these points. So yeah, it's a dynamic uh, dynamic rank uh, uh, leaderboard. The rankings are dynamic. Um, and the last one is the hardwood hacker. So this is for um, hardwood. Um, I can show you. Um, so again, bronze, silver and gold. You get 400 points for being, hey, this is, oh yeah, yeah, of course, 400 points for being in the top 10,000. You get 2,500 points for being in the top 1,000. And if you are a top 100 player, you get 10,000 points. So yeah, you can grind a lot if you want and gain lots of points. So I will close this and let me see. So um, you saw me chopping some wood. This is uh, some light brown color, and this is a darker brown uh, color. So this is soft wood and also hard wood. You need the darker type uh, wood for uh, the leaderboard. Here you can also see them soft wood and hard wood. So you need to collect the hard wood and also a hard wood you get when you are level two. Uh, let's see, forestry right here in the top forestry and if you are level two uh, then you will uh, get some hardwoods so let me see let me cut some uh, trees because also hardwood is a random drop so n right now I don't have any hardwood so I have to cut some more trees and let's see if I get some more here is some hardwood and Ah, again, some more hardwoods right here. Hardwood and hardwood. So again, uh, 12 hardwood from these four trees. Um, yeah. So this is how you can start leveling up 
um, and also um, gain some nice points on the leaderboard um, which shall I um, explain first because um, there is something else I want to discuss it is this uh, uh, this 40% boost and also um, the best way to grow your grump uh, grumpkins because uh, the thing is with grumpkins you have to water them twice so right uh, and that is why i set my alarm um, the grumpkins are the only crop um, you uh, you have to water uh, twice so all other crops you can uh, you can plant them and um, yeah just give them uh, water uh, just once and they will grow but grumpkins you need to water them twice and i have set a alarm at two hours and right now i will um, water them for a second time if i don't do that they will die um, yeah a lot of people f forget them or uh, they uh, they uh, don't get the timing right uh, and that is why i made a video about it it's also in the link uh, in the description but look at this in loving memory because a lot of these grumpkins die um, watch this video so your grumpkins don't die i um, so if you have trouble if you're not sure how to make um, uh, how to grow these grumpkins please watch this video it will ex well it's a bit dram dramatic i'm i put a lot of a lot of effort in it i made a really nice intro uh, for this video um, but the main key is set a timer at around two hours and then return to your land to water the the, the grumpkins again so i did and now you will see um, in 40 minutes they will um, uh, they will uh, grow and I can harvest them so that's that's the, the main thing um, about grumpkins you can plant them everywhere so I, I did it here on my um, uh, land type farm you can plant them right here but I also have some grumpkins right here which I will water now because otherwise they will die I think you have um, around three to four hours but if you miss it um, yeah like I said they will die um, if you do it too early it won't work and if you do it too late yeah of course they, they, they are dead already so the sweet spot is somewhere around two hours let me see um, well, I water these grumpkins. I can scroll a little bit through the, um, let me see, through the, the questions. Um, okay. <coughs> My skill levels are crazy. Yes. Um, thanks for doing this stream. Yes, you're welcome, Hotlam. Thank you for joining me again. Um, Let's see. Um, oh, I have to scroll up a lot. Thank you for, uh, yeah, for participating here in this um, in this live stream. Yes, my rank is 15. That's nice. Um, I'm not a VIP. Okay. Yeah, you. I will show you how to buy VIP. Um, all right rank 4000 okay okay let me see if i can find some questions is it uh, cumulative with the first airdrop yes so if you were here last year and you played season one of the airdrop you get that allocation so you earn pixel tokens from that and you can earn more pixel tokens if you participate in this second uh, season so yes yeah, you you double dip and if you were around last year you and you've played throughout the year you will have uh, it's relatively easy you might have a lot of these um, badges already so yeah that's the benefit of um, the early adapters the ones who um, who were here for a year have played the game for a year and that's that's yeah 
you've earned it. Uh, I started a few hours ago. Welcome, welcome. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, I've had these questions. Grumkin alarm. Yes, it was my Grumkin alarm. Um, how to increase the reputation. I will talk about it later on. How to get milk easy. Um, there's no easy way. It's random. Um, I think it's around 20%. So for every um, five uh, moo munches you give, you you can expect one uh, one milk. I think I have I haven't done any calculations, but it's around that. Yeah. Talk about season one. I can do it. I can do it. It's over already, but I can show you my rank. It's uh, in level uh, in season one. Um, and goedenavond, a nice evening, a good evening, yes, goedenavond, um, from the Netherlands, I'm also from the Netherlands. Um, what is the best way to level up the lumberjack? Um, so to, ah yeah, so again, uh, this video is a gold mine, I would say, um, where is it? This one, how to level up fast as a beginner. It got 46,000 views already in only two months. Um, watch this one. It will show you um, how to uh, level up fast uh, to, uh, to level two. And then you can start to get hardwood. And from there it will get easier. But basically you just need to chop wood and you will level up. There's not really a big secret around it. Um... <coughs> do you have any idea how many tokens you will receive if you are at top 1 compared to top 7000 no I have no idea uh, there's no no token tokenomics uh, yet um, but yeah so uh, a lot of people uh, they hope they get tens of thousands of tokens um, but why I mean uh, if if one token is worth a lot I mean look at bitcoin a bit I would be really happy with one Bitcoin compared to, uh, I don't know, uh, name one shit token. Uh, you can have one million shit tokens and have one dollar. But if I have one Bitcoin token, yeah, I'm much happier. Um, so how many? No, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I don't know. Um, but they said the white paper on the tokenomics will be out soon. Not sure when, but <laughs> soon. <laughs> but soon can mean anything. Um, okay. Um, is this event worth burning lots of berries for energy? Um, yeah, I'm I'm burning through a lot of uh, energy already uh, because I want to stay at least in the top thousand for every uh, skill. Um, and if I can make it into the top one hundred, then I'm really really happy. Um, there is no uh, specific tree. Um, you just need to go to the trees on someone's land. They all have a red uh, marker, a red X on it, and those trees you can uh, you can chop. And those trees will give you hardwood if you are level two. Um, yeah, you can find many on the lands. Uh, how can you stock so many bookmarks? Uh, those are real NFT lens I own. These are my bookmarks. Um, and these are my own lens I bought. Um, normally you can have three bookmarks, but if you are a Pixels VIP, you can have one extra. And if you are a land owner, you can have another one. So you can have five bookmarks right now. But in chapter 2, they were hinting that you can buy more bookmarks with the pixel token. Mm, yeah, that's why I have a lot of bookmarks. <laughs> um, I have too many bookmarks. Yeah, I have too many lands. <laughs> no, not too many, but I have I've got quite a few. They are really expensive now, but really, uh, I think it's just one half a year ago. You could get some for $200, maybe. 0.1, no, 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 0 0.11, 0 0.12 Ethereum. And the, the, the value of Ethereum was also a lot lower than it is now. 
so yeah i bought low and so n not not the other way around huh? i bought high and sell low no no this time this time in uh, the first time in my life i've bought low and now i'm able to sell high if i want to yes i did it i cracked the code i did it um okay let's see uh and i also want to complete all the quests new players by playing um yeah so uh, someone is is mentioning um i'm i've been playing for from airdrop one um and now new players can come in and they will own uh, they will earn a lot of um they are able to spend a lot of berry and um gain a lot of ranks but those new players they have to spend money to to get a high rank you did it for free and mm, you might have um a better reputation i will talk about it um in a few minutes um let's see um cheapest way to earn energy without waiting uh by vip vip is not that expensive i think it's 10 11 dollars per month and if you so you, you you can easily break even or gain a profit if you sell uh, everything but for this airdrop yeah you you have to uh, uh, buy new energy with your profit so these two weeks you cannot profit from it but you gain the airdrop and after the two weeks you can uh, farm water mint it is a crop you get at level 11 and you uh, can easily earn some money back um yeah cut the stumps for more experience that is true um that is true that is one of the so is it a secret I, i'm not sure but it is one of the things i talk about in this video right here um you can cut the stumps until you are level two and if you are level two i would say do do not cut the stumps because um you don't get hardwood in the stumps and with the stumps we mean so let's go to a tree and cut some trees and if you seen my uh, previous uh, tree cutting you see I, I stop right here those are the stumps uh, yes you get uh, m uh, you have to spend less energy to get uh, the same amount of XP right here but you don't get hardwood so yeah don't don't um don't waste your energy if you're looking for hardwood is i is what i would say um i do not have a beehive on my lands uh how do you get wax uh, i use other people uh people's lands i only have one beehive it's one of the rarest in industries worth a lot of money and um yeah no i only have one um okay yes uh, this video uh, will be recorded uh, so you can find this uh, video on my uh, youtube channel uh, after the video uh, after i'm done um does planting drumkins give you points uh, well you level up so if you're not level uh, eight already you of course uh, level up and th this that badge will give you points um, but I would say it's really easy to get in the top 10,000 right now. I'm not sure how it is in, in, in a few, uh, in two weeks, but now you can easily get in, into the top uh, thousand. Um, yeah, it's going to be super hard to get in the top 100. Yeah. So that's why I, I will be happy to be in the top thousands and <laughs> not sure if I can make it in the top 100, uh, 100. How to get milk? I will show you. Um, uh, I see some people are already answering. Uh, should we keep the sell some egg? I don't think so. Um, you, I don't. Mm, I'm not sure, but I don't think you have to keep those. You, you just need to, you just need to harvest them or uh, collect the sell some eggs, and then you are, you're done. You get your points. I don't think you have to collect. Uh, you have to keep them. Um, 
Yeah, you can use them for making glue and stuff. Okay, I don't have space. An inventory, yes, what can I do? I will show you, I will show you, but I need to water them uh, first. So, um, I can, okay, I can show you, I, I will answer your question in a few seconds, uh, but I need to water them. And here you can see my uh, me doing a lot of grinding for those points. Um, extra, yeah, there's extra storage chest. Okay, some people already helping out, but I will show you on screen. Um, if you have more lands, you get more points. Yeah, uh, yes. Let's see. Go to this badge, landowner. You can see you get three thousand points per land. I w I would think per land. So for each land you have, you get three thousand points. You do have ten lands, you have thirty thousand points. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, is it advisable to make wine from the Gromkins? Uh, I was thinking about it uh, this afternoon. Um, yes. Uh, I would say yes. Uh, you will also level up your winemaking skill. Uh, those Gromkin wines give you energy in return, so you can continue farming those uh, Gromkins. So yes, I would say um, yeah, you need energy. And right now you are farming a lot of grumpkins. So either make uh, grumpkin loaves or grumpkin pies or, uh, or, or wine. All right. Um, yeah. Ah, people are saying the same as I am. You gain XP. And so there are more, uh, more, um, more quests coming. More batches are coming. And what if one of those badges is uh, that you need a lot of uh, uh, high uh, winemaking skill. Uh, oh, sorry, I was already here. So this, oh, it's called the beverage master skill uh, nowadays. Um, so yeah, I would, yeah, I'm not sure, but hey, uh, you get energy in return and maybe, maybe they say you need to be level 10 in beverage master. So if you make, if you use those crumpkins already, yeah, then you are level 10 by the time the badge comes out. If it comes out, eh? I'm not sure. Um, let's see, I have to get my mouse to the other screen. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, oh, I have to, oh, now I lost where I was. Mm, how to check my right no I've got it already yep hey thank you for helping me complete my Pixmas tree yes you are welcome it was a lot of fun to collect these ornaments for the tree all right okay so let me give these grumpkins some water they look dry and let me collect some eggs I've got two eggs and no seltzer egg. Okay, okay. So here, oh, I cannot collect. Wait. So with a pet, you you get extra inventory space. Uh, let me put something in here, and now I can collect this wood. Why? Because I want to show you. Um, you can make a small storage chest. And with those storage chests, you have extra inventory. You can place this chest on a land and you can put your items in it. So if this is full, like mine, then you can place these items in there and um, yeah, you have extra storage space. But there are some free ones in the game and I will show you. Um, but first, I need to water my grumpkins. Um more water uh okay I will, I will i will i will show you hey natron thanks for joining nice to see you here um okay some people are helping already uh more water lands more beehives okay some people are mentioning their uh, land numbers already trust score i will get to that i have prepared something is it here no it's here no it's here i will talk about this this is about the trust score and I will uh, explain this in a bit. But I also need to think about my own um, 
leaderboard rankings so i need to keep my grumpkins healthy so yes you can see me working a lot on those grumpkins because grumpkins are a lot of work yeah and again watch this video right here um this one i put a lot of work in it i really like this intro uh, <laughs> i made a really dramatic video um yeah let me know what you think about this video i would that would help me a lot okay um so i'm done right here let's see um Can you sell softwood after chopping? Yeah, can we sell? I don't think we can sell softwood. Uh, I will. I throw them in the bin right now. There are some bins, uh, trash cans in the in the Terra Villa. Yeah. Yes, we can fish. I have a video as well. Um, it so this video helps you uh, get started with fishing, and it helps you get this this this. Uh, where is it? This one. This batch for 250 points uh, nice content thank you fiction thank you um how to have your own land you can buy it on open sea i think there's a button right here if you click on the landowner badge right here landowner purchase land on open sea and here you can see it is a pretty uh, high price already but if you want to buy you can do it right here uh, owning one land will give you uh, 3000 points and it will also boost your score even more again I will talk about it but let me go through some questions first um, uh, can you please yeah 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 um, the videos helps a lot thank you thank you yes I put a lot of effort in it um, Confirm, give second time water in Grumpkin 1.3 hours to 2 hours. Yeah, it's a little bit more. So, okay, don't make it too difficult. Uh, I just set my timer at 2 hours and it works every time. Yes, there is a window, uh, 1 hours and maybe 20 minutes until uh, 3 hours. I don't know, I'm not sure. Somewhere in between, okay. But I just grab my phone, I, put my, I have my timer uh, at 2 hours, I click uh, start. And then when my alarm goes off, which it did during this live video, um, I start watering my 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 uh, crops, my grumpkin crops. So that's what I'm doing right now, because my um, my alarm went off. Yeah. Um, how to one million uh, be a landowner and have a lot of people farming on your lands? That helps me a lot um so for new players uh, or uh, people that want to be a landowner if you are a landowner you get every, uh one percent of everything uh, other players collect so let's say if i uh, harvest 100 grumpkins i will get one grumpkin right here see you can see people are harvesting uh, water mints uh, some butterberries and all other stuff and this is just one percent of all other uh, of what other players are collecting on my lens so i can i can take this i can put it in my inventory i can go to ha hazel and sell it and with that i can make one million berry um, or make a lot of wines Here you can see me drinking a lot of wine because it takes a lot of energy to uh, grow these uh, grumpkins okay let's see um, okay so chickens do i have a sell some egg no i don't okay i'm not lucky with the sell some eggs right now okay i will get to the questions again but again i'm also competing for the high sc higher scores so yeah i need to think about myself as well uh, and that's why i keep watering my uh, my lens i have some here okay uh, questions can you yeah i will i will i will show you some water lens 
Um, ooh, a lot of spamming. Maybe I won't tell Waterlands then. <laughs> um, yes. Nice. Was I'm gonna. Yep, you can. Yep, which lands can I find more beehives? Yep, I can show you. Ah, a lot, uh, people are already responding with land uh, numbers for beehives and such. Um, 40, 40, uh, 4,000 reputation. That's nice. That means you're a landowner, you have VIP, and you have been playing for a long time. Um, uh, and he lands with chicken crop. Uh, chicken coops in in sequence so yeah um i'm not sure but i can show you where to find those um again i will water my crumpkins i'm almost done i don't have many lands anymore but i need to finish this first uh, this is switched yeah okay mm, did i've got them all right yeah so what I do now is I only, I don't spend any energy on stuff like this. Uh, I only spend energy on the grumpkins and um, yeah, the chickens and the wood and stuff that will earn me points. Um, wait, where is my, where? Here. no, that's the wrong one. Right? Or did I click? That's wrong. Uh, I need to go here. Okay. Uh, show your skills. Um, I did, but I can do it again. Um, my skills are 49 farming, 46 cooking. Uh, what is it? 33 in woodwork. 37 in granger. That's the, the, the windmill. Uh, forestry, 21. 34 in the kiln, the ceramicist. 16 in beehive that will get a lot higher right now uh textile and 19 aviculture the chickens that is 22. Uh, redifferentiator whoa the difficult name um that's only for landowners so you have to you need to have a nft land for that uh slugger 23 wine making or the beverage master is 56 i'm making a lot of energy because i'm using a lot of energy mining is 33 and animal care is 22 not bad i would say and yes i have been playing daily since what is it 31st uh 31 october or 1 november no november 1st Last year, no, no, uh, 22, not 23, but 22. So there is one year and four months, three months. So, okay, so here you can see it needs water. It says it needs water. So that's why I'm watering them. And all the other ones, I've got them already or not. Ah, here, I've got one, needs water. So, um, should we get the shoes to make you walk faster? Is it worth it? Uh, right now, it no, but it looks cool. Um, however, um, you can get higher points in some mini games, and people are doing some races um, on their land. And of course, if you want to be fast, then those shoes are really, really helpful. Oh, someone was talking to me. I'm sorry, I missed you. Um, The best way for energy is VIP, yes it is, um, and winemaking. But at this point, winemaking is not a batch, so yeah. Um, but again, cooking is also not a batch. Um, but yeah, you, you do need some energy. I would say winemaking is the easiest. You can make it in bulk. All right, let's see. I need to water these and... I think I'm almost done, or I am done. This, yeah. So I don't, I don't know how many lands, but I started right here. One, two, three, four in sequence. So this is also nice if you go to one uh, land four zero eight one. That's my main land. Uh, if you're looking for me in a game, I'm mostly on this land. 
It has a beehive, it has a chicken coop, uh, it has a windmill. Um, someone was asking how to get um, milk for the quest. So you need milk for this quest and also for this quest or uh, this batch. Um, you need milk for it. You, you, you need to craft some moo munch. For that you need grain bows and also cooking mix. Then you go to the cow. And the cow is right here. In Terra Villa. And you give this moo munch. You feed it to the cow. And one hour later it will give you shit. <laughs> it does. It, it gives you shit. But it can also... Um, it can also give you, um, uh, what is it, milk? Yeah, we were looking for milk. I think it's around 20%. Okay, let's see. So why do you want to have VIP? You can go here and with just one click, you can get 400 energy. You can do this every eight hours, so that is the easiest way to get um, to get energy. But it is paid; you need to pay for it. Mm, let's see. I wanna. Uh, okay, the best way to earn energy. Yeah, so VIP. But also, again, this 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 video. Um, is working really good for uh, energy. It tells you about the Holy Trinity. Of There are three skills, and if you focus on those three skills, you will level up really quick and also um, have some more energy. <coughs> yes, tickets. So people are asking about tickets. Um, these tickets. Uh, right now, um, you cannot... And redeem those tickets because the trailers are closed but they will open again in the future i keep collecting them because then i have a head start over all the other people who are just starting to play for these tickets um, but if you have trouble with your uh, inventory space go inside this building and inside this building you will find a inventory chest or what is it called I'm not, I'm not sure but you can oh wait i have to um let me switch this for this so here you can see you have uh, inventory space i'm also playing the mocha first event um, i have 121 batteries because i'm saving them for a live at the end of the period that's in seven days from now i think six days mm. so you have a chest in this building the mocha first building but you also have a chest right here i'm gonna walk down so if you spawn to the uh, terra villa city you can walk to the right uh, to the bottom and then to the right this is the post office Right here, you can uh, yep, find another chest. And if you click on it, you can uh, swap out uh, your stuff. So if I don't want this, I can click it, put it here, and I can close it. And when I return, it is still there. And there is another chest inside the building on the left so you can go inside here so there are three uh, chests you can use um, you can use them yeah it's free um, you won't lose your items and yep so you walk up to the right right here there's another chest I have some random stuff in here um, there is also a um, trash can so for example here if you open up the trash can you can put your stuff in there you don't want you can throw it away 
and I think right now it is still here but when I leave the screen so I go inside this building and I come back for example if I refresh or I go to one of my lens when I come back it will be gone so it's burnt you won't you won't you you cannot get it back so be aware if you want to save your items use one of the the inventory chests otherwise you can use the trash can so if you have a lot of tickets you can use one of these things uh, when we get a, uh, getting discord yeah i need to do something with a discord um how to cook fish um we can't yet uh, the, the the fish we have is just a teaser and uh, during uh, the launch of chapter two there will be m more utility for the fish but now there's nothing it was 1.75 uh, ethereum two days ago yes a lot of people are uh, watching pixels right now with the play to airdrop i'm from the netherlands yes i need potato uh that's a good one you need potatoes for a few quests if you are a landowner you can make them here if you're not a landowner then you need to trade them and this is maybe a so and that and this is also the redifferentiator so what is this skill this one it is uh, you get it from using this machine and this is where you make potato seeds but you need to be an nft uh, landowner so if you're not a landowner you need to trade your uh, you need to trade those potato um, uh, seeds to be able to trade you need 700 reputation points um, and also these reputation re reputation points are a multiplier for your skills uh, for uh, not for you, sorry these reputation points are a mul multiplier for your uh, airdrop points so if i click on this you can see i have this many points but it multiplies with f uh, 40 percent uh, because those are my trust score or the the yeah it's called trust score here so how to get those uh, points up for example if you complete the popberry wine delivery service you get 50 points if you complete the butter brew delivery service you get 250 points if you finish the Jeho's shake break it is another quest it, it is the quest where you get the, the fishing net and also you will earn this this badge right here then you uh, earn um where is it right here then you earn another 150 points so for the flower powder quest it's also a badge for the, the, the leaderboard you earn 50 points and the five gear is barbie quest is 200 points so if you do all this you uh, you will get enough points to be able to trade but unfortunately um, you need to be able to trade to make uh, to finish this quest so it's a bit of a loophole but luckily you can connect the discord so discord will give you 200 points then you do the popberry wine uh, delivery service the butter brew service the geohost shake break and the flower powder if you do uh, do those and also connect your discord then you have 700 points then you are able to trade with other players uh, and get those hot tato seeds so you need to f uh, you need to find a landowner and um, then uh, you can trade those with them um Okay, now we are on the subject of trust score. As you can see, your reputation is giving you a 40% boost. Um, if I scroll up a little bit, so this is the dashboard. You can see I have 4032 trust score. Um, how did I get it? Uh, for example, I have VIP. Um, that's 1500 points. I also have a length. Uh, NFT land is also 1500 points and I did almost everything right here and of course 
because I have been playing for what is it? Uh, one year and two, three, four, or four months, three months, I think. Uh, well, actually, I am playing a lot longer, but this game, this chapter, is is um, was launched one year and three months ago. I have been playing this season one uh, air drop for well, also more than half, uh, more than half a year, half a year. So that's why my account age is also yeah, it's really old, and I get point two uh, points per day. So every five days I get one point extra. And yeah, so one and a half years that's a lot of points. Okay, um, so this is what you need to do to um, to up those uh, trust score points, and with that you you. Um, you will earn more points for your ranking and you can get this nice looking 15 all right so i hope this is this is um this is answering the questions about uh, trust scores and what you need to do for it mm -hmm. Um, let's see, let's see. About the tribally tools to help them out. I will, I have opened up a screen right here. But I will save it uh, until the end. Um, so even though the aerial campaign started now, I'm behind all the old players, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I would say so. So because I have been playing for a long time, I woke up this morning I and I finished this batch, this batch, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and all this these batches where you have to be level 8. I already finished those because I have been playing for a long time. So that is the benefit. So um, there's all, always... Um, you, you have different players, you have different people. You have uh, the OGs who are here for more than two years have been supporting the game, but you also want to re reward those, right? As, as a company, as Pixels, as the team. Uh, you also have to take care of those OGs. So that's why for me and other people, it was really easy to get this many points because we have been playing for a long time. But again, there are also a lot of new players and you want to give them a chance as well. Um, so I would say these these things are relatively easy and by completing these and a few others and again remember there will be more batches coming in the next two weeks um, you, you you can still make it yeah you can because your 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 uh, reputation will go up when you play more uh, again look at this this um, uh, this what I made right here you can easily uh, not easily but so if you want to do it in two weeks and you're really new you started today then you cannot do everything but again it might be enough to get some of the airdrop and it sounds logical that if people have been playing for all uh, for more than two years that they are able to earn more than someone starting out today uh, yeah, so that's answering my quest uh, the question. Is it likely for a new player to get in the top 7,000? I would say yes, but uh, looking at last year's season one, the competition will be high. So don't sleep on it. Don't skip a day. You want to play every day. That's what I would say. Um, what did I do last year? I can go to contests again. And click on season one. And also there I was rank 36 out of the 20,000 people that uh, will get the airdrop. There, there, there were more players, of course, but they didn't rank uh, inside the top t uh, 20,000. But I have been grinding a lot, a lot. And I made it uh, to rank 36. I also made a video about it, um, so yeah, if you if you like my content, you can scroll down a little bit, and yeah, right here I've made some pretty awesome videos. I would say I spent twenty 
I, yeah, so it was really different back then. But here you can see me playing um, and earning uh, 30, uh, rank 36, which will also get me a lot of uh, pixel tokens, I hope. And again, with this rank right now, um, right here, season 2, rank 15 it is. Oh, 14. I did something else. Or maybe some other people changed things. So yeah, rank 14. My rank is 5,000. How to grow and stay in top 7,000. Yes, um, just play. Um, if you're 5,000 5, right now, maybe you can do some of these quests. Um, make sure you did a Twitter connection. Make sure you um, like the tweet. It's an easy 1,000 points. Um, and do everything to um, get the reputation up. So this, look at this. If, you, if you're missing one of these quests right here, the popberry wine, the butterberry wine, the Jiho shake, shake break, the flower powder, or the, the, the barbie, barbie quest, those are really easy to, um, well not easy, but those they will give you a multiplier and also uh, batches. So you're hitting two birds with one stone. Uh, the best strategy so yeah um but y try to do everything uh here um i would say those green ones where you have to be level eight those would be doable um and so, so okay uh, a little bit of a strategy um um how to oh no 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 that's not working because you only get grumpkins if you are level eight hmm, sorry I was thinking about something, but it doesn't work. Um, yeah, grind a lot. Spend all of your energy every day. Um, think about VIP. That will help you a lot. Um, I okay, and 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 you can also. So this is this is the this is a blog. This is uh, Pixels Medium. There is a link somewhere in in um, in one of the tweets. Um, I think it's somewhere here. Um, ah, yeah, here. So the top seven thousand players uh, will uh, will qualify for the airdrop. But another thousand players that have a score over three thousand will randomly selected to receive pixel allocation as well. So it looks like um, if you're not in. In the top 7,000, but your points, so this is your rank. If your rank is higher than 7,000, but your points are over 3,000, then you have a chance of getting the uh, airdrop as well. Yeah, do you think it's okay to try everything or concentrate or, uh, on one or two batches? So I am going for all of the the batches and I'm hoping to stay in the top thousand um, but for example um, if you're just starting out it will be hard to get no uh, not hard but you have to invest a little bit I, th I think but this will be expensive to get there really quick and this one as well because a queen bee is thousand berry and with one queen bee it takes a long time to get to level two and in level two you get the wax you need to wax um, so you want to buy more queen bees so you can harvest more honey and level up your your beekeeping skill a lot faster but for that you need a lot of need lots of berry uh, you can earn berry but for to earn berry you also need energy so as a free to play player um, it is difficult to do, to do it in only two weeks. Um, I would say the chickens are easier and the grumpkins. And wood also costs a lot of energy. But then again, you, you, you can also check. So, so um, you can also decide for yourself. Eh? Uh, on the left, you find a tab, leaderboards. So click on the leaderboards. 
Okay. Um, there are specific leaderboards for the play to airdrop. So let's see. Um, most Grumkins farmed for airdrop 2. So I, I can click on here and I can see what I need to be in the top 100. I need 480 Grumkins. Um, yep. Is it doable for you to plant 480 Grumkins today? Because this is the score right now. Or do you say, okay, let's find 1000. Uh, you need to plant 120 Grumkins. So today I would say Grumkins it's it's relatively easy um, to go to uh, to do the grumpkins. Oh, I have to open another screen. Um, so you 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 can uh, relatively easy in three hours. Uh, you can um, go. You can you can get the silver badge for grumpkins, which gives you two thousand and five hundred points. Um, and here, so with these leaderboards. You can decide for yourself: Is it worth it? Can I can I make it in in uh, yeah right now? So if you're already level eight in farming, just buy some Gromkins, uh, use two lands. So for example, um, wh what does it look like? One hundred and twenty Gromkins. So again, if you go to land four zero eight one, you will find a beehive right here. Did I get wax? No, I don't. You can find eggs right here, but you can also plant 60 grumpkins. So place, uh, plant 60 grumpkins right here, then walk to the right, do another 60 over there, and then you are already earned the 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 silver badge for uh, grumpkins. Yeah, okay, so that's a good one. How do I go to a custom land? Oh, I've got this one. Um, this one needs water. Okay. Okay, so you know this button. Eh? So in the top left, you have this uh, land and bookmark button. You go to Terra Villa. So from here, you walk to the left. And you will find this uh, plots building. Plots is permits and land office of Terra Villa. It's a nice, nice name. But inside this building, you walk in. And you walk up. You use this red machine. Click on it. And type in 4081. And hit go. And now you can see you are on the same land I, as I was before. Um, but there is a shortcut. You can click on this and you can click on bookmark. If you click on bookmark, you can always find the bookmarked lands right here. Click on the same button, top left and here, bookmarks. And then you can click on go. So you don't have to go to the plots building every time, go to the red machine, type in the number. No, no, no. You, you can just go here, go here and select go to travel to the land instantly. So it's al also good to remember uh, um, the lands wh where you uh, place your grumpkins, for example, or where you place your chickens. Um, I need hot potatoes. Where... Do I get it? So you need, uh, for hot potatoes, you need to have a trust score of 700. How to get 700? Do this first quest right here. The second one, the butter brew, the Geo shake break, the flower powder, and also connect the disc your Discord. How do I connect Discord? Go to your dashboard, go to social, and click on connect Discord. How do we go to your dashboard? You can use this purple button in the top right. Um, then you have 700 points. If you have 700 points, you can uh, trade the hot potatoes with other players. That's if you're not an NFT landowner. If you are an NFT landowner, you can make them yourself. It's, it's specifically unique 
uh, thing for landowners. Let's see. Uh, it's wise to grow hot potatoes now. No, no, no. I would definitely 100% go for uh, the the grumpkins. Um, I would not bother with any other crop unless you need a few for um, f for your quests. So, for example, uh, there is a batch right here. Um, contests, season two. You can see there is a batch for rainbows and sunshine. Sunshine and rainbows quest. You need some rainbows, so then I would say plant some rainbows. But once you are finished with this one, go with Grumpkins. And for this quest, and also for this quest, you need a few hot potatoes. Oh, uh, yeah, not that many. I would, I think, I would say just plant only the the, the, the hot potato crops you need, and then go back to um, um, where is it? Here, go back to Grumpkins, because Grumpkins will. Um, will give you more points for the leaderboard. Yeah, so that also answers the question, the hot potato is a problem, how do I buy it? First, you need to be, um, you need to have a um, trust score at 700. Hey, I forgot this one. Okay. So let's see. Um, Grumpkin leaderboard, any tips on how to stay at least 1,000 tips like how long will a fully grown? Um, it dies after 13 hours. So if you have planted the Grumpkin uh, and it's fully grown, so wait, I will walk to the right, you will see a fully grown Grumpkin. So if you have watered them uh, at two hours, they will stay alive. 13 hours after you have watered them. So my str strategy is to water them um, after uh, the first time, of course, uh, when I'm planting them, but then also when I um, set my timer at two hours. And from that moment, it takes 13 hours for them to die. So for me, it's evening right now. Um, I have plant. I have watered my grumpkins uh, around eight, eight thirty. So thirteen out would be tomorrow, n around nine o'clock. They will be dead. So just to be sure, you never know what happens tomorrow in the morning. Just to be sure, I will be harvesting them right now. So I have a little bit um, time, some extra time tomorrow. Okay. Um, should old players try this play to airdrop? Yes, yes, because you have an advantage. You will have most of the quests done already, so you can focus on other things, and you will get a higher reputation boost, which which ups your points even more. So yes, they really thought about the older players. This is this, I would say the older players are are getting a lot of attention with with this uh, a lot of um, a lot of points. Well, if you have been playing for uh, for for some time, um, so yeah, go for it. For us older players, it's 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 easier. You might have some extra energy or you're already level uh, X uh, because you need those. Yeah, for, the, for this, you need to be level 8. For this, you need to be beekeeping level 2. For this, you need to be, um, what is it, um, mining level 5. So if you have those already, then you can start earning points right away. And other newer players need to level up first, become level 5, need to invest drills and stuff. But yeah, for all the players, it's it's really easier. 
my rank right now is 14, right? It is, yeah, it's fluctuating between 14 and 15. So I think someone is really close to me. So one hour it's 14, the other hour it's, uh, next hour it's 15. But either way, 14 or 15, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy. Yes. So let me, let me do this. And I forgot to water this one, so let's do it again. Um, okay. Let's see if I missed. No, no, some questions. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I want to talk about um, for this play to airdrop. So. The higher your reputation score is, the better. If you have 1000 points, then you get a 10% multiplier. Um, 3000 gives you a 30% multiplier. So you can see how it works right here. I have 4032. That gives me a 40.32 uh, boost in points. So divide it by 100 and that will give you uh, the boost to the points. It's really, really cool how this works. Hey, I got a... I didn't know I had this one before. So that's nice. Um, yeah, what else? What else do I want to talk about? Let's see if if I missed something here. Mm. Yep, people are asking about this. So qualifying participants from the first play to airdrop, which was last year will still receive pixel. It doesn't matter if you do or do not play this season two. Yep, like I, like I already mentioned, it's for long time players, but also newcomers. Um, yeah, let's see. I think I mentioned everything. Um, so again, I will show you this. <coughs> this is how you get your trust score up. You can make a screenshot if you want, but this one is really uh, interesting. Uh, for all the quests, I've got videos. Um, yeah, make sure you have a screenshot right now because I will show you how to connect Discord, Twitter, email, and your phone. You go again to the dashboard, you click on social on the left, and here you have a few buttons you can click on so you can connect all your socials, which will give you some points. Uh, and Discord is the most important one. Yep. It is going to be super hard to get in the top 100. Many people are already buying hundreds of drills, beads and energy drinks. They will win. Yeah. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, pay to win, but um, I, st I still think uh, new players are able. Well, right now, yeah, I, I'm not sure how it will look like in two weeks. Um, I'm not sure what the, 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 the cutoff for the top 7000 is, but I would say try at least. Uh, and also, I want to mention this part. Uh, try to get over 3,000 points because they will randomly select 1,000 players from those 3,000. Um, so in the end, 8,000 people will get an airdrop. You have this top 7,000 who are guaranteed to have an airdrop, but these 10,000 players, they will be uh, chosen randomly uh, from all, uh, all the players which have more than 3,000 points. So try to get at least 3,000 points, see in a, in, uh, in a few days or a few weeks how this will develop. And uh, yeah, you can decide from there if it's worth it to grind even more or uh, yeah, hope to get randomly selected. But again, also uh, look at the leaderboard. Eh? It's also a tab on the dashboard. You can you can check if you need to if you want to invest. So again, let's. Uh, I said that sell some eggs were I think okay. 
it's easy to get to level two and then you need to um yeah you can run every hour to collect your eggs so to get in the top thousand you need uh eight eggs eight sell some eggs so yeah buy some chickens place those on on uh, on, on on lands and uh yeah maybe you can make it what is 10,000 uh, just one so if you have one then you're already in inside the 10,000 oh not even 10,000 people are playing there are only 8,177 people who are collecting uh sell some eggs so if you have one egg right now you are already uh have oh i have to go here you have one of these batches will give you 400 points so today it's the first day of course it's going to be easier but yeah who knows um so with the sell some eggs you get this batch if you have one egg you are guaranteed to have this this batch 400 points and from there you can you can you can uh create your own strategy and try uh yeah to see where you uh, want to invest your energy and maybe some berries and stuff hey hello from ecuador hello hello how you get so much energy um i make i have made a lot of wine in the past that's why my skill is at 56 because i've been grinding with winemaking i have been saving them you can see me walking around with 100 water mint whiskies that is what 30,000 energy right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Remember, I didn't start today. Huh? I've been playing for an insanely long time. Um, but watch this video. Um, this, 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 this one. Again, for all quests, I've got uh, videos. But this video will help you understand the game a, a little bit more. There is a link below. So if you watch in the description right now, you, you scroll down a little bit, you, you click on description, you can see all the videos you need for all the all of these quests. The first quest, this quest, um, also the G-Host quest. I've got videos for all of them. Um, I do not have tons of bees and chickens uh, I, I bought a few chickens to place them on on uh, coops but i'm running low already uh, uh, what to do to accomplish the tweet interaction yeah so i'm missing a link right here but somewhere on twitter um, i have my twitter open here uh, you can find yeah, you need to... Um, so, oh, they pinned it. So if you go to the Pixels um, uh, uh, Twitter, the pinned message, you have to like it. I think you only have to like it. Uh, but of course, you can also um, uh, retweet it. Um, they said like, right? A oh, tweet like. Like our tweet. Okay. And for me, it, it took... Within the hour, I got my badge, which earned me 1,000 points. If you don't... Yes, it is good to remind... Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, so if you... So let's... let's let's. I've got... No, yeah, here. I'm... I sil I've got a silver badge, that, which means I am in the top 1,000. So maybe I'm... I'm... I'm maybe at 900 or something. So if I stop playing right now, um, uh, other people will overtake me. So I will end up uh, at rank 2000, maybe 3000. Then I will lose this badge and I'll, I will also lose my points. So you must stay on the leaderboard to keep this badge. This is an important one. It's, it's not, it is not a, a set and done uh, thing. It's uh, no, you have to stay inside the top thousand to get this badge it's not just the one thing thank you uh for reminding me yeah who was it cyber first thank you um what wine is the best for energy Ooh, what wine is the best for energy 
Um, so it all changed because uh, for any I don't know for uh, yeah I, you have to calculate um, what stuff uh, I I can make a tweet someday where I run some calculations I'm not sure which wine is the best uh, no well it, today if you start today and you keep on grinding. Uh, which we all have to do, eh? it's not that I don't have to, uh, I, I can stop grinding because I want to keep these batches, but no, um, just buy a few chickens and you are guaranteed to have this batch, um, probably also with wax, and for, yeah, so if you start today, you can, you, you can still make it, but you have to invest uh, some of your time and energy. Uh, my focus is uh no i because okay so for me and again i am a long time player i have 100 waterman whiskies here and i've got a lot more in in some inventory um, uh, uh, boxes um i have a lot of energy so i will c focus on everything and i want to be in the top thousand um so i need some more sell some eggs and also some more wax uh, no, not wax. What is it? The salt. Salt blocks. Yeah, I, d I didn't do much uh, salt mines today. Uh, I should do it. Uh, but yeah, with those, I will. I want to stay in the top thousand. I think top 100 is really, really hard. Uh, so, for example, let me let me see what what, what the difference is. Uh, most salt mines. So the top 100, you need to have 38. Uh, salt blocks which is a lot um, and I am right <laughs> I have eight yeah like I said it wasn't my focus today so I have to uh, ah, th that will be difficult I have to find 30 salt blocks to make it in the top thousand uh, no top 100 no sorry top one okay and what do I need for top thousand um, Top thousand is ten. Oh, okay. So I need to find one mine with salt blocks, and then I'm in the somewhere in the top or close to the top thousand. Okay, that's so that's doable. Yeah. So for me, I, I I'm 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 happy when I'm with when I have the silver badge for all of these skills. Yeah. Good question. Uh, I will show you where do I get salt blocks. So for example, um, seven nine seven. That is. A land I own and I've put four salt mines. So what is a salt mine? Um, it is a mine that is placed on a water land. You can see that the grass is blue right here. So if a mine is on, uh, on uh, blue grass, then you are able to get salt. But only when your mining level is five. So there are two things. You need to be mining level 5 and you need to go to lands with blue grass. Um, so that's where we get salt blocks. Um, uh, let's see. Do you get more pixels dropped for your rank instead of someone with... Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, if you're rank uh, number one, you get way more pixel token than if you are uh, number 7,000. Yeah, so try to uh, to get as many points as you can. Where do I get Hateto? Okay, again, um, it is good. Uh, please ask the questions because um, you need to trade them with people. And to be able to trade, you need a um, high trust score. You need to connect your Discord for 200 points. And you need these four quests. The Potberry Wine, the Butterbrew Delivery uh, Service, the Geho's Shake Break, and the Flower Powder. That will grant you 700 points. With those 700 points in the bottom, you can see that you can trade with other players. That is if you're not a landowner. 
if you are a landowner, so an NFT land, uh, farmland, then uh, you can um, you can make them yourself. So you, if you're not an NFT landowner, you have to trade them with an NFT landowner. Yeah, makes sense, right? Okay, um, let me. Yeah, you can trade with me. I, I I won't do it on the on the live uh, stream, but yes, you can trade with me. Uh, I have potato seeds, uh, not seeds. But I have the fully grown crops. They're pretty expensive. Um, I think the last time I did it, there were forty per 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 crop. Hey, I don't have tri chickens because they are also expensive to make and they cost ten energy to uh, grow them. Um, yeah. Did I do this? Yeah. I am at rank 15. So I can show you again. Uh, contests and season 2. Oh, 14. Yeah, okay. It was, yeah. So I'm switching between 14 and 15. Someone else is really close. Uh, oh, I did it already. Okay, nice. Um, Let's get these batch. A video, how to get these batches one by one. Um, this is the video about that uh, subject. Um, so if you look in the description, you can see that I have uh, put a lot of links to my other videos. Um, so for example, um, one of the batches is called Barney Barno or Grain Bows Forever. You can see a link behind it in the description. Just follow that uh, link and uh, you can um, earn those batches. The other ones are pretty st straightforward because for this batch you need to be farming level 8. Yeah, I'm not going to make a video about how to get to level 8. Just plant a lot of crops and you will get to level 8 really soon. For this you need to be mining level 8. Um, yeah, just buy a lot of drills and make... Uh, and yeah, visit a lot of mines to level up in the mining skill. Um, so those are the easiest ones. And uh, for this, you have to grind. For this, you have to grind a lot of grumpkins. For this, you have to collect a lot of uh, wax. Yeah, pretty straightforward. But don't forget the Twitter connection. This one for 750 points and also this one for 1000 points. You can find this tweet on the Pixels Twitter. It is the pinned tweet, so the first tweet you see on their account. Just give it a like and maybe a retweet, and then you will get 1,000 points. That's pretty easy. Okay. What do you guys think about my pet? I made a, li I shoot a live video last week where I hatched my pet. I didn't win it, I, I bought it. What do you think? I think it looks really cool. It's pretty unique. It got, uh, uh, you cannot show, uh, see it really clearly, but it got two small horns. That's pretty unique. And you have some extra inventory space. You have extra reach. And with reach, I mean, uh, I can show you. I can show you one of the benefits from the, these pets um, here. Let me see. So, right now, I, I will be standing right here. I will put my pet away, rest. So now I don't have a pet. See, if I walk around, no pet is following me. I will st uh, stay here stand here and I will start harvesting my grumpkins and now it says oh I am too far away so this is my reach I cannot I cannot harvest this you see I'm clicking but no nothing happens so now I get uh, select my pet again whoop there it goes and my pet is here and now my reach has extended a lot more now I can, it's doubled because first one, two, three, and now I have four, five, and six because mm, this is the end. 
So for example, uh, that's one of the benefits. Also, one, uh, one of the other benefits, and that's a big one, especially right now. Uh, so this one had uh, the inventory space, but also watch my energy. It's uh, 321.81. So if I um, go to another land, that's this one. Um, I don't lose any energy. Oh, I, I even gained energy because <laughs> uh, you get energy passively. Um, but that's not because of that. So the thing I want to uh, talk about is you do not lose energy. So you can try for yourself. Uh, just uh, look at the energy bar and switch uh, to a different land. It doesn't matter which land. You can go inside a house. You can go back to Terra Villa. It doesn't matter. Um, if you switch lands, you will lose 0.5 energy. But if you have a pet, you don't. So right now I'm I'm switching between lots of lands. Um, oh, I already got it right here. Um, yeah, I'm not losing any energy, so I can warp to any land as many times as I, uh, as I can. Oh, I finished everything. Ah, I harvest all my all my grumpkins. So and where? So it also has another benefit of uh, the extended reach. Uh, let me go to the carnival. Where to get a pet? Um, you, right now you have to buy one. Because um, I think it was in October, November maybe, somewhere in between. Um, there was this carnival event. And you could play a lot of mini games right here. You could earn tickets. I still have some tickets right here. And with those tickets, you could walk inside here. It is now closed. I cannot walk inside. And here you get you could redeem those tickets, and um, you could try to win a pet. A lot of people were playing. The chance was really, really, really small to win a pet. But there are 250 pets uh, right now, and of course, uh, um, people s sold it. Um, and I bought it. And how did I buy it? I bought it with my in-game earnings. So I had a lot of berry. I I, I saved it. I never uh, swapped it for anything. But the moment th these pets came out, I um, I swapped my berry tokens for uh, Ron for Ron Ronin tokens, and I bought my pet. So one of the benefits is with this mini game uh, so someone asked me um, about shoes should we buy shoes uh, well for this game it is really interesting and also the extended reach of these pets are really interesting because before you have to get really close but now I can click on these grumpkins from a long distance which means I get a bigger score before you saw 23, that was on my mobile. You always get lower scores on mobile because you cannot walk and click at the same time. But now I'm on my computer and I'm trying to get well over 30, which is relatively easy. No, not easy, but it's doable um, to get um, 30 points right here. So before you had to walk all the way to the edge of the of this hole or close but now it's really really easy i don't have to walk this much yeah two three yes maybe i can get this one yeah 31 i would say i have a lot of 30 or a little bit more i think 34 is my uh, my um my um the highest score i've got um yes the, the 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 trailers are closed now but it doesn't mean uh they will cl stay closed forever it is uh they will still uh, there will be another another um yeah event or something where you can redeem prices 
most likely other prices. Um, because why do we want Pixel, the token? You can mint your own pets with the Pixel token. So you don't have to be lucky. No, you can uh, use the Pixel token to mint your own pet. Can you use fertilizer for grumpkins? Um, yes, but those are expensive and uh, not worth it. Unless you are a whale and have a lot of money. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think you can. Um, to save so many lands. Uh, I was early, so I bought lands for not so much. I think the cheapest land I've bought was 0.13. Ethereum, which is almost uh, now it's all uh, not 20 times, but let's say 15, 16 times as high, uh, higher as it is, uh, it was back then. And it's not that long ago. I think it's well, it was maybe half a year or m nine months ago. The floor was was that low. Yeah, three thousand dollars a pet. Um, I did not buy it for that uh, amount of money. The, uh, the moment I bought it, it was half, and I did it with my in-game earnings. So uh, when Pixels moved to Ronin, uh, the berry token shot up to the moon. Uh, it was worth a lot more than it was right now, and I took uh, advantage of it, and I um, was able to. Um, swap enough berry tokens for uh, Ronin tokens and I was able to buy a pet without any money of my own it was just with the in-game earnings but now it's really really huge yeah um. Let's see what the uh, big chapter two change is coming up. Personally, I see thing. MS. Yeah, farming will change a lot. Okay, so I have two screens. Um, so this, so there are changes coming. Chapter two will be a lot uh, different. One thing is dungeons, and this is one of the dungeons. Um, nobody knows yet how or what it will look like. Yeah, it looks like this, but n the gameplay. Um, um, yeah, dungeons. Um, not sure what it will do, but it will be something really huge. And uh, you also have guilds, and guilds and dungeons and stuff like that uh, will, uh, yeah, will change up the gameplay a lot. So this is uh, one of the things we'll be spending a lot of time in. I think you can get ra rare items, new items. They said there will be, what was it? 50 to, to 70 new resources with the launch of chapter 2. So can, can you imagine 70 new and different resources? That's crazy. Um, I don't know, r Lost Relics. What is it? Um, it's like Oxy with ori or Origins. Yeah, I also never played Oxy. No, no, I didn't. Maybe I will someday, but I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm maxing out uh, pixels right now. Um, so this is also a something that will change, or they will add in during uh, oh, with with chapter two. You have a task board, so every day you have different tasks, and that will earn you some experience or some extra berry tokens. And also, as you can see right here in the bottom right some pixel token so through gameplay you can earn pixel token so it's not only just this pl uh, this airdrop uh, you can also play the game and you are you will be able to earn pixel token and this is just a mock-up so it says you need 40 fishes 40 fish um, that's that's this is just a random number just to show the this image this image was leaked during a, a AMA so this is not my image, this is not my photo, um, but they made it and showed it during one of the AMAs. Ah, an old NFT game. Okay, they changed it too much and, uh, and then it was rubbish. 
Yeah, um, I know they hired new people just to, um, uh, how do you say it in English? Uh, just to, um, to, to uh, up their gameplay uh, because then they know, they know that things are not perfect. They know that, that, that some things are lacking right now. So they hired one, sp some one specifically to, um, to think about these things. And hopefully this guy or person has a lot of experience and, um, yeah, um, it will be better. All right, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to end it right here. I've covered everything. I also covered these images, which, which are really cool, I think. Um, oh, and also look at this image on the left. It's a separate image. Um, so you know you have your spec length, eh? your small length. But look at this. This length looks totally different. And this is supposed to be your spec length. I think. I think. Oh, uh, Don't quote me on that. But I think this is your spec. And um, you can see you have two industries. Even a mine. Although it's a, s a little bit of a smaller mine. So that could be different. You have, uh, you have your own house, a small house. Uh, you have six uh, soil plots, and right now you can only have four. And you also have some trees. You can have, uh, yeah, yeah, I can see two, two trees, and now you, you don't have trees on your spec. So yeah, um, that will change as well. They, they said they wanted to, uh, that, um, that you need to use your spec a lot more than now. So yeah, that's that's why I think this is an actual leak of the new specs. Uh, when dies the grumpkin after the second time watering? Um, after 13 hours. But please watch this video. I really like this video. No, I, no the video is easy. So I can tell you uh, the, the secret. Um, um, you have to water them after two hours and then they will die after 13 hours. So you have to do it all within those, um, f uh, 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 the, the windows. Yeah. Um, but watch this video because it, it, it explains it, but it also has a nice intro. I put a lot of work in it and I'm really happy with the intro. So yeah, maybe uh, watch it after this one. Yes, this video will be rewatchable, uh, especially the um, the beginning was interesting. Uh, I talked a lot about this this dashboard. Um, later on, I answered a lot of questions. Did uh, talked about gameplay and stuff. Um, but if you want to um, max out your play to airdrop season two, yeah, watch the beginning of this video. Um, when I uh, stop scream uh, stop streaming then it will be available on YouTube. I think immediately or maybe after it needs to adjust a few things, but it will be available. Yes, gonna watch it again. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, any questions left? Because yeah, it's, no, it's not. Yeah, it's almost bedtime, I would say. I want to thank you all for joining me again and even some some first time players thank you for finding me and uh, yeah watching this this uh, live stream um i do these regularly not 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 every day or something but yeah when there's something big going on you can count on me to make a video about it sometimes i do a live sometimes i do a lot of uh, longer content videos which I edit put a lot of time in it um, so yeah let's see um, thank you all um, uh, one question yep the tickets will be used um, um, I'm I'm saving them I, I have almost two storage chests full of them so that is almost I have more than 10,000 tickets I'm saving them um, 
Uh, yeah, special mines are valid. Um, if you are a new player with only good farming level, can you? Yep. Um, yeah, but you have to work a lot. Um, you cannot skip a day or something. And uh, right now you can you can easily earn some badges. Uh, not even ten thousand people are playing um, so, so for some of these badges. So again, if you're a new player, I I I, I want to uh, give you uh, I want to encourage you. So for ex it was here. Not even. I have to go all the way down, all the way down. Can I do it faster? No, all the way down. Okay, eight thousand three hundred people are um, having this batch right now, so not even ten thousand. So you can you can easily earn some points today. See, a lot of people. It's still one one sell some egg. If you have one sell some egg. And so no, let's say if you have two, if you have two sell some eggs, you are um, at five thousand. So yeah, do with that info what you want. But I, I think you can still make it. When season two will be live, um, I think. Oh, I'm I'm mixing up um, because they they are talking about the token release. And also the chapter two release, um, and they were talking about end of February and beginning of March, somewhere around that. Um, but I I'm not sure if it is the token or chapter two. But a lot of big things are happening end of February. That's for sure. Um, okay, I can end my video with this lovely rank. Contests season two and it is fourteen right now. Ooh, my po ah, because I I I I harvested a lot of grumpkins and now I have a lot of extra points. So my rank is fourteen. Um, it will be online. Uh, it will be live for two weeks. So take uh, do everything you have. And uh, yeah, I hope. I hope you can make it, or no, you can easily make it in the top 7,000 right now. I hope you can stay in it, but play every day is my advice. All right, um, I'm going to end right here. I wish you all a good day. For me, it's a good evening. And um, yep, sell some eggs. Okay, okay, one question. Sell some eggs, you need to be... Um, AV culture level two. You can go to this land. Four zero eight one. There are many uh, links in the description below. They will help you play the game. And ah, oh, it doesn't load. Okay, yeah, it does. This is a chicken coop. If you place chickens right here, and you are level two, you will get a sell some egg. Random. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice day or have a nice evening and I will see you later. Bye bye.